In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a stitch jeans and leather text effect step by step. Stitch leather and denim text effects are so cool looking and as you will see, very easy to make in Photoshop. I'm John, a graphic designer and co-founder of the Photoshop blog psddude.com and let me show you how I created this stitched leather and jeans text effect. For this tutorial, we are going to use a free online text effect generator called Texturizer. We'll also be using a Photoshop stitch brush, an old leather texture and a denim texture for the background. In the description below you will find all the information you need about the resources used. So let's get started. Let's create a new document by going to File, New and choosing 1200 by 800 pixels for the size and 72 for the DPI resolution. Click OK. And then let's create a layer for the background. To do this, we will click Ctrl, Shift and N and uh, we will create a new layer, name it background and we will delete the old layer. Now we will place the denim texture in the background. We go to textures4photoshop.com and download the uh, jeans texture. I've already downloaded this, so I can simply go in Photoshop and click File, Place and choose the jeans texture. Now let's resize the denim texture to fit the size of the document. I'm doing this by hitting Ctrl T and then dragging the corners. And now we're going to add the text effect. Let's add a new layer by clicking Ctrl, Shift and N and we'll name this denim text. Now we'll go into the texturizer online text generator. And as you can see, they have a lot of uh, predefined effects from which you can choose. We're going to choose the one named denim jeans text effect and we're going to input our own text. I will key in John, but you can use any text and we'll change the text uh, font to bungee inline. And because we don't need the background, we will just switch off the background texture. Now we're going to grab this text by right clicking and uh, choosing copy image. And then we jump back in Photoshop and use Ctrl V to paste the text in the document. Let's remove the uh, black background by using the magic wand tool. We click once on the outside. We also click inside the O letter. And now we make the selection of the black area and click delete to delete it and Ctrl D to uh, deselect. Next, we will add a leather border to our text effect. Let's click on uh, the background layer and click Ctrl, Shift and N to create a new layer for the leather border. We'll call it leather text. And uh, now holding down the Ctrl key, let's click on the thumbnail of the denim text to make a selection. And let's expand this selection by going to Select, Modify and Expand. We'll uh, expand it by 12 pixels and click OK. Now let's fill in this uh, selection by clicking Shift F5 and then uh, OK. It doesn't matter what color you use because we're going to use this as a clipping mask. Now we need to put in our leather uh, texture and uh, we will go to the textures for Photoshop website and I chose this old leather texture which I downloaded simply click the download button and then I placed it in the document by going to file place and choosing the leather texture now right click on the leather texture uh, layer and choose create clipping mask Next, we're going to add a few layer styles to our text effect. We will start with the leather layer. Let's add a bevel and emboss. And uh, we're just going to adjust a bit the settings. We will switch the highlight mode to overlay. 
we will leave the shadow mode to multiply but make a small adjustment to the opacity and maybe I'll adjust a bit the depth too. This depends on what kind of effect you want to get but uh, I want to change the settings so that I make the text pop up a bit. Let me adjust the depth a bit. Okay, and now we'll add a drop shadow. Increase the opacity and click OK. Let's move on to the denim text layer. We will add a similar layer style. We'll also use the bevel and emboss. We will make small adjustments to uh, the highlight mode. We switch it to overlay. Let's adjust the size a bit and the depth. And this all depends on how you want the final result to look. It's really up to you. It's very important that we add a drop shadow just to increase the depth of the design. And I think this looks about good. Let's increase a bit the opacity. You can move back and forth between these effects and make small adjustments according to your liking but I think that this looks pretty good. Let's now see how to create a stitch effect in Photoshop. We will add a stitch border to our denim text. Let's create a new layer by clicking Ctrl, Shift and N and we'll create a new layer and call it stitch border. Then holding down the Ctrl key and clicking on the thumbnail of the denim text, we will create a selection around the text. Then choose select, modify and expand and we'll expand this selection by 18 pixels. Let's click OK. Now we will transform this selection into a working path. We do this by going to the paths panel, right clicking and choosing make work path. With this work path selected we will use a stitch Photoshop brush to create the stitch border. You can download the uh, stitch brush from the description of this video. Let's choose the path selection tool. And if we go to the work path and right click on it, we can choose stroke path. Make sure that brush is selected and then click OK. Let's click delete to delete the working path. And next we will add a few layer styles to the stitch. Again, we will use bevel and emboss to create the 3D look for the stitching. We will switch the highlight mode to overlay and we can also add a color overlay to change the color of the stitching. Let's choose a light yellow yeah, and then click OK. Uh, we'll also add a drop shadow to increase the 3D look of the stitching. Let me adjust the opacity and a bit the distance and OK. So now we have one uh, border of stitching. We can repeat the previous step by uh, selecting the text layer, increasing the selection by 25 pixels and we create the working path and then again with the path selection tool we choose stroke path and Click OK. Basically, this is our stitch jeans and leather text effect. As a last step, I often like to make my design a bit sharper. I'm using Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E to make a copy of all visible layers. I'll then apply a high pass filter by going to filter other and high pass and use 1.5 pixels for the radius. I'll also switch the blending mode to overlay and decrease the opacity to around 80%. And this is the final result. Our jeans and leather text effect looks awesome. So did you like this tutorial? If you found this to be useful, make sure to subscribe to the PSD Dude YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to check out our other video tutorials. Are you going to create your own stitch jeans and leather text effect following this tutorial? If you do, please let me know how it turned out.